Excuse me, sir, sir. May I interest you in some chew? Because today we're gonna be playing more Real Grade, the train-based puzzle game. So hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Real Grade, where we are moving and grooving through the campaign here, perfecting every single mission we come across. And today I'm sure will be no different. And if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like. But okay, cities have workers that can be assigned to industries. The number of workers you have access to depends on the population of the city. Crazy. You can click on the city and there's cool stuff. Okay, I don't care. City population. We're going to increase the city's population by giving them water, salt, wire, and steel, I presume. Catalysts are like boost things that we can give the city. So I guess we'll try and do that too, but I don't really care. It'll be fine. So we have some oil here, water. <laughs> There's so much, it's just oil and water. Uh, do we have like a machine where we can combine the oil and water? Oil well, no. Okay, then what happens at the oil pump? Well, we can give it water and it can make the oil run faster. But then what does the city need? Oh, the city just needs water to actually get started. Oh, so we'll just do that then, that should be easy. Main concept with the game, by the way, is you just set up the rail lines to places it needs to be. And since we're just getting started here and our first objective is to get some water, let's just send this train right on over. So track is built, money is looking good, we got like 10 grand. All right, new chew. We have a workhorse engine and a boiler engine. Let's just do this and we'll make it a big train. Yes? Sure. And off it goes. So now things are gonna get a little bit more interesting. We're gonna try and do something a little radical. Let's destroy all of that. Let's remake the train line so that it goes like this. Then we're gonna destroy this water pump. Oh, it's protected under regional contract? Mm. Okay, but what I wanted to try and do here is I wanna combine both of these together. And I wanna see if our station's this big, does it collect from each of these? I think it does. Even if it doesn't, we can just add on more trains to the track. We'll add on a little boiler train onto this, and then that switch will lead both trains in this little circle. So this train should go to there, and the bigger train should go over here. But then, if trains try and pass through each other, one gets ghosted. So really, all that train is gonna do is cause a backup. Now let's get back to our little test. Can this train handle everything? Uh, let's make it even bigger first. It collects the four water from there. Now will it go over here and collect more? It will! Okay, so this is, wait, 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 wait then. We do not need two trains. We just need the two stations. You, be gone! You are the true train. The holy one. So that's a good start to things. We also could use energy as a catalyst so the city will grow faster. And to get energy, we need to bring oil to the oil power plant. Where's the oil at? I think we already have a couple oil wells built. We do, so let's build even more. Best thing of all, now that we know that the trains can stop at two different stations, when we bring this over here, we're gonna be able to do some crazy stuff. And then we're gonna have a big old station on this track that will then head back here and go in a loop. Then this needs workers, and it needs to export the energy later as well. But let's get this started. We'll just have a little boiler engine and Five of those? Now what? Bank? This is the bank. Yes. Banks can offer you access to additional budget if you need it. But we're not gonna worry about the bank stuff because everything's gonna be fine. We got like $2,000. It's a lot of money, smile. We're not gonna go bankrupt here. No way. <laughs> we're just gonna bring the train over this way to there. And we're gonna have a completely segregated track that will scoot down right next door because it still connects to the city and everything will work out. Now, a couple other options we could have done is we could have made like a loop for both the water and the energy. So all the trains have one track into the city. But instead, if we have the lines separated, we don't have to worry about the trains like crashing into each other or, or other craziness like that. So big train, lots of energy, and we're good to go. And it heads to the city. Energy off to the city makes us some money. Looking good, how's the city looking? using catalyst energy. Level zero demands, required one, water. But we already sent it water. Is it because the train with the water is too slow? Wait, and I thought I added on an extra chew to you. Here, have 
friend. Looks like we're drinking through the water too fast. I hope my kids can pay off our contract. I heard Earth has animals. I do not like bidding wars, I hate wars. What's wrong with these people? Main thing is, the city is growing, but oh my gosh. They drink through water so quickly. They're already done with that whole train. Sheesh, okay, we need a lot more water. But if we're gonna get water from the springs, we're gonna need a lot more money. Hey, bank, what, what's going on, buddy? Withdraw at 7.75 borrow rate? Sure. If there's anything I know about, it's trains and money. All I really care about are game mechanics right now. So far, we're learning some pretty interesting things. Uh, like, hey, maybe I should have set up everything a little bit differently. Because look, we have water over here, we have water over there. We should have made this a loop track to the city. Can we still do that? If this is water, oh my gosh, we'd have to do this, go down here, go over this way to there, then salvage all of this, and then bring this track over to there so that this can go to there. But most importantly, we have to make it look good too, right? So that goes to there, and this goes here. And it's pretty much a loop. As for these water pumps, now we can just simply have everything enter the loop here, and then they have to leave the loop to go over to the other station. So we can go up, we can go over, we can go down. And I was gonna say, out and around, but we don't have enough money. Bank, help, I need money. Can't withdraw money. Are we bankrupt? Uh-oh, wait a second. Our net income, oh, is going up. We're fine, everything's fine, don't worry. We're gaming. But you know what, now that we have a better plan, I bet we could game much better if we just restarted this. Like, we'll start with a loop here, and also, we'll deposit some money at the beginning of the mission, so we can get a little bit of interest as well. Okay. okay round two! So this water train now, we'll just go straight to here, then scoot back, we'll go to here, We'll prepare to go over to there, because there's the extra water wells. The main thing is, we want this loop built. We have another water pump over here, so we want to build a loop there. I'll connect up to here. Then to get back over to that station, this has to go up and loop around. And train-wise, we'll have three of them, and then a bunch of those. That train will go to there, and in the future, it'll also load up the water from the other spring. As for this train, gotta do the same kind of planning. With everything running though, well, let's deposit some money. Deposited five grand, we're good. Main thing is, are we able to sustain the city now? Take it a bunch. Train's heading out of the way. Next train is showing up. It's like the perfect timing too. We never really want to see this number go to zero. So it looks like we're sustaining. Good. And then that's gonna go to zero because both these trains now are heading off to their respective locations. Well, I'd say we're doing pretty good then. We just want more trains. More trains or bigger trains? I suppose it's the real question. Let's test out bigger trains this time around. Oh wait, no, 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 it doesn't even matter. The water pump can only hold four water in storage at a time. Okay, and if that's the case, then we'll have it set up like that. Then of course with our other bigger train, we're gonna wanna have at least eight freight cars and then a couple boiler engines. Now that's what I'm talking about, we're really going to now. So we have that water pump, it's all set up, and then we build more stations. So that's perfect. All of these water pumps are now hooked up to this one train station, where we have one super train that's going crazy. Great. I'd say we've done a way better job with water this time now. Thus, it's time to get back to the oil. How do we want to go with oil? Let's think about how we're going to drop it off first. We'll have a station that's way up in the air here. Then this will go back over here. Then this is gonna be for the energy. So this will just go back over to there. Now we could make the energy a loop too, but we'll see how much energy we end up really needing. And for the oil, we have oil over here, oil there of course, and oil over here. So it kind of makes sense to have like one loop just going around in a circle right here. And it's almost like the game's trying to direct me to do this. And look at that. Everything's going chew. Except for you. Who has nothing to pick up because we haven't brought oil over yet. You know what? We should just get more oil. How much money do we have? A lot. Let's get more industry going. And let's just win the game. Let's see our beautiful city be completed. Growing now? Yeah, look at that. And hey, look, robots. What are they doing around here? I don't know. Nor do I care. Because our city has leveled up. And as the population grows and the cities level up, they gain additional demands. See what they are. Energized city. It wants batteries. Cool. 
So exactly like water needs energy. Makes sense. And though, 40 energy probably means we're gonna have to go a little bit more crazy with our oil production here. And we're kind of low on money. So things are gonna get a little weird. We'll upgrade that train first. We could get a loan, but I really don't like loans. And how could we make things more efficient? How is this train doing? By the time it gets back over to here, will there be four batteries there? No, because there's no oil here. The oil is too slow. I feel then to solve that problem, all we really need is another train. So one, two, one, two, three, four. There we go. The throughput of the oil from the well to the power plant should be sufficient. Because we never want to see this. This is like the disaster of inefficiency. Seeing a train that's only half loaded making the journey? I don't think so. But then back to this problem, where now this train is fully loaded, but now there's too many batteries left in the plant. Now you see, this is what should have happened. Should have made this a loop from the get-go. Didn't understand how much energy a city needed. Of course, the answer is always more. So now we got a loop. We got a bigger station. Let's have a bigger station to unload as well. JK, I lie, we have no money. And I think at this point, we actually want a loan. If this timer goes down to zero, we lose the, like, the S rank. And I would like that. So big loan time, more true time. Uh, let's get to a U, one, two, three, four, finalize. How's that on energy? Real good. So let's get another train. Okay, things going speedy. That's loaded up. Okay, it's working. We could upgrade the fuel plant or we could give it a catalyst of water to make it run even faster. And I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna set up a water plant here. And instead of bringing this water to the city, we're just gonna bring it up and down the hill. And that will make the fuel plant run better. And this time we're gonna get a workhorse engine. And that different engine is able to go up the hill a little bit better. And that should get things moving much better here. That train fully loads, good. But then the next train is not gonna load anything. That's why we need the water to make the process go faster. Yeah, that only has one battery now. We only have like three and a bit minutes here. Uh, the numbers are looking good though. We've almost energized the city. Can we upgrade this? No, we've taken out our max loan. I think we've done everything we can. And the trains are doing as well as they can. Like they're unloading. City's getting its food, it's getting its energy, it's happy. We're just being a little inefficient. The best thing we could possibly do really is go over here and upgrade the oil power plant. Because it says up there, right? And I think that means uptime, like how often the oil power plant is actually working. Oh, hold up, I think we actually need more oil. If anything, we want more trains on this system. Oh wait, no, we did it. We supplied all the energy. Wait, does that mean we won? Oh, we did win. Oh, hey, look at that. S rank. Oh, we did get kind of close, but we take those. So next mission. Oh, lore stuff. Hey, Yoshida. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Where are we off to now? Stretched thin. Got a permanent license, love to see it. Let's find out what's happening here. Yes, let's enter the region. Not gonna lie, a little worried about this one. Stretch thin probably means that we're not gonna have a lot of budget. Oh man, plus it's looking like a huge map. And a new resource, copper mines. A song of iron and coal, steel. Wait, so we got copper plus there's steel now? And to make steel, we need iron and coal to come together, make steel, and then we're gonna take that steel to a Zeppelin dock over here. And that transports it all over the world. Plus we have a city for workers, jeez. So we're balancing like a lot of stuff here. Goods factory, what's that? Uh, it's steel and wire to make goods. Oh man, I'm picking up what's going down. Before we let the timer get started, let's do our initial kind of looking around here. We have copper, a goods factory, chains of steel and wire. Okay, so there's the wire coiler. There's the copper, simple. It's in fact, the goods factory even points to what it wants. Coal just goes to there. Zeppelin, I don't know what we really want to export right now. Probably the goods. Water to the city, iron to there. It seems simple enough, just a lot of straight lines. I don't know what we're supposed to be focusing on. Plus there's oil around here, but why? Is there any other hidden resources? No, the water. I don't know why oil's over there. For the most part, it, it seems relatively simple though. Like we just bring this over that way. Of course the iron will come over this way. The water has to go to the city since it's not like a huge requirement. Plus we only have one pump. Can't do too much with that. And then for the goods, 
This will come out this way. And then scoot over to here. Or if we really want to be cheap, we could have this go over this way and then that way. And if we do this, we could double use this track to get the wire. And then when the steel goes back, it'll just go back down to there. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, we might have trains kind of cross paths at times, which would be annoying. So maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe we just do that and have a segregated tracks or else we're gonna have ghost trains and I don't like to deal with ghosts. So I'd say that's all like the basic tracks. And what I'm kind of realizing now is if we have extra money, we could set up the oil patch with a power plant and then we could export the energy for dollar dues. Oh, but that's like, I don't want to do this. This is a terrible idea. I shouldn't do this. Oh, it's so greedy. Plus, like, what's the next task gonna be? Yeah, that's true. Once we do the eight steel, there's probably gonna be a new main task. So let's just set up things first. Fine. Oh, but here's the meme. We don't have enough workers to do everything efficiently. So that's only gonna be like 35% speed. That means the goods is pretty irrelevant. I guess we'll get that going. Oh, there's two white wire plants. Oh, so it's probably better to run both of them at 70% each than just one at 100%. Okay, so yeah, we need to increase our population. Looking at the city, again, it just needs water just to get started. And then wire. Oh, so then we would bring the wire down over too. Oh, well, well, things are getting a little bit interesting. For now though, we start with basics. A little bit of iron, and that sets the timer off for our speedy run. And most of our trains are gonna be the same, except for wherever there's a hill, we're gonna get the workhorse engine. And that way, it can deal with this a little bit better. Yeah, look at it go. <laughs> it looks like a tractor, it's so cute. Okay, but for the most part, there's a lot of just flat land. So you can just have the boiler do that. Goes back to get copper, it's fine. And then the steel, uh, we could have another workhorse. That's getting everything working there. That's working. We really have to measure the speed of things right now. While we're measuring, whoa, that's a good deposit rate. Give me the extra months. You're getting what you need. You got what you have. You are really speeding. Oh, no! The goods! <laughs> what do we even do with the goods? I, I'm not exporting them anywhere. Ah, no. I made a critical error. Hey, bank, you know that money? I would really like it back. Thanks. So, entirely separate track. We're not going to have enough money for this. I'm already crying. Oh, we have like 2,000. Maybe we will. So there we go. You can just have this train or and make the goods. Gotcha. Next task is exporting. And I think we literally just did that. So we have goods. Yes. Reverse the train. Get the goods back. How's everything else looking? Not enough storage for all the steel. That's really interesting. Wait, what? Skipping station, no freight. Steel needs inputs. It's waiting for wire. Oh. And this has wire, yes? Now working. Okay, so everything is fine now. I wanna see wire, Chew. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Dude, those are massive coils of wire. I actually can't even think of how much that would weigh. Insane. Man, I wish we could have a storage buffer here, though. Destination's full, yeah, it's just crying out. Can we do some stuff with workers? Yes, we can. Uh, if we're all stored up on steel there, let's dump our workers over here so this train can really get rocking and rolling. So if we want to export more goods, we're going to just want to have one big train. Man, though, this is not good. This thing is slow, really slow. And we really need to make this fast. And that will require energy as a catalyst. But hey, we got our first little load of goods. That's cool. Oh, it didn't grab the last one. What? I don't understand why. Here, have this stuff. And oh, man, what, what do we do with this situation here? I don't really know. Everything's kind of working as fast as it can. We've already used up five minutes here, and we're only like three out of 24 goods? We need more workers. Level zero. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I never put a train in here. Well, that is a critical flaw. So our city wasn't growing, so we couldn't get more workers, and now this whole system is just sad and slow. Well, now we have water. Wait a second. Whoa, it has nine water stored up here. 200% speed? Hold up. You know what that means? <laughs> that means this train can get a lot more interesting. Let's make it very big train. 
And that is just going to go back and forth as fast as possible. And we got to get the population up. And I'm willing to guess that this is going to help with that. We're going to have very hydrated citizens. Our city is growing. We have an extra worker. I'm happy with that. So back to what we're up to. This. This is working quite well, but it really needs more. Can we slow this down any further? No. It's still stacked up on steel. What about over here? Two in storage. Let's slow that down as well. Gets us another two workers. I really want to get oil started. And things are going to get right down to the wire. But if we withdraw our 2,000 here, and we go back over this way, we should have enough money. So we want the oil power plant. Thinking about how to use this track here. I guess I should have made a loop for some of this stuff. I'm not sure. But we're going to have to have like a direct track just heading right over. For now, where can we have you? Here? I think the game wants me to have this here. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling. And this... Go to here. Industry, give me some oil. Just a little bit for now. We don't have a lot of money and it scares me. And we we'll have to bring the energy down this way. And we're getting a little close down to the wire. Can we do oh, we can build straight through here though. Yes. This has no gameplay consequences. It just makes me really happy to have the three tracks lined up. Sometimes that's what it's just all about, okay? Then we can go to here. And with a thousand bucks left over, we have enough to build the stations, but not the train. Negative three dollars. Destination full. I don't want to do this, but we're doing it. We're deleting some of it. There we go. Look, the destination was full, right? That will definitely cause no problems in the near future at all. It's impossible. Though 600 bucks ain't a lot. I guess we're gonna get another loan. I need a little loan. And that builds us our train. No assigned workers, that's okay. We got you, pal. Eight minutes to complete our goal. We have plenty of workers. Ooh, steel's not running at full force. Let's get that going. And oh, I didn't even notice. Did we win? Oh, what the heck, dude? Really, we won. It's a 20 minute timer to get the top rank and we did it in half that almost? Sheesh, okay. It's worrying about nothing. Guess I'm too good. That gets us to fork in the water. Or meddlesome production? Oh, a bonus task. I see. So these are bonus levels in case you're doing too well. Anyway, though, that's going to be all for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye-bye.